This is my $3,200 paperweight. That's right, guys, you heard me correct. And you might've seen some of my posts that I made uh, on YouTube here a little while back. My 2015 MacBook Pro that was pretty much loaded up, I paid $3,245 for it, is dead. Well, it's not completely dead, but it won't turn on. It's just kind of stuck in a boot loop. It goes over and over and over again. So I took it to Apple, had them take a look at it. Well, everything checked out fine except for the battery. So they tried reloading the operating system and it still wouldn't load, it still wouldn't load. So I found online that some people were having problems with the batteries, which mine I knew has been shot for over a year. Just didn't want to send it away because it was taking Apple like four weeks or something to get it back to me. Can't live without a computer that long. So I decided to wait and one day I'm working in DaVinci Resolve and all of a sudden, boom, computer's dead. Just shuts off, won't turn on. Boot loop, boot loop, boot loop. It was driving me crazy. So I did find that people were having problems and when they replaced the battery, it booted right up, no problem. So I figured, I'm gonna pick up a battery. I'm gonna try and do it myself and we'll see if we can get this old MacBook Pro running because it sure would be great to be able to get all that stuff back. Now I do have backups and all that, so not that worried. And I do have a new loaded Mac Mini on the way, just shipped today. If I can't get this guy working, then we're gonna go ahead and just use that Mac Mini that's coming. So I'm pretty excited about that with the M1. Not what I wanted, but hey, it's gonna do a great job and it's gonna be way more powerful than this old guy over here. So hopefully either we can get this working or I'm just gonna go ahead and use that M1 and hey, who knows? I might even keep that M1 anyway. So for the battery pack that I picked up, I went to Other World Computing. I'll link it down below in case you're interested or you're doing the same thing. And uh, I have no idea if this is gonna work. We're just gonna try it. I'm gonna replace the battery, see what happens. Throw in a little time lapse because I think you gotta take everything out of the chassis here to get it to work. Or maybe you don't have to, but I'm probably just gonna follow directions, whatever they say. And then hopefully it's gonna fire up for me, we'll see. In the meantime, I've been using this Acer Nitro 5 as my computer to kind of get some videos done for you guys. So to make this repair, there is a few things that I did need to pick up. I picked up the battery, which was 85 bucks. I figure for 85 bucks, I'm gonna take a chance on this laptop, see if I can get it working. Then I also picked up a mat that I could use to repair my computer on, an anti-static mat with one of those little clippy things, you know, to hopefully get rid of any static electricity. Seemed like a good idea. So for a few bucks, I picked that up off of Amazon. I'll show it here, link it in the description below in case you want to get one or uh, you're interested in that. And I'll let you know how that stuff works once I'm done. So I guess now it's just time to go uh, grab this bad boy and go rip it apart and see what we can do here. I'm hoping that it works, you know, might not, but hey, we're gonna give it a try because for 85 bucks, I feel like it's worth a try, especially when everything else checked out just fine. So I don't know, let's get into it. So in case you are wondering, I did try all those keyboard shortcuts that you can try, safe mode and recovery mode and all that kind of stuff. The only thing that'll open up to is the Apple Diagnostics, which when it runs, says everything's fine except for the battery. So that's a little weird, right? But I've tried everything else, nothing else seems to work and it doesn't turn on if I don't have the power cord plugged in. So that's kind of where it's at right now. And like I said, Apple did go through all their stuff. Everything checked out fine. They said they reloaded the OS and it just wouldn't start. It gets stuck in the boot loop. So that's why I'm hopeful that this battery uh, swap is gonna do the trick here. So fingers crossed, we're gonna see what happens. So the best part about this battery kit from Otherworld Computing is that it came with everything that you need in order to take this laptop apart. The instructions were really good, they were easy to follow, told you exactly what you had to take off when, and as long as you keep everything organized, it's really not that hard. It might be possible to do this job without removing everything, but I didn't want to get that adhesive remover all over anything, so I took everything out, made sure to clean it up really good before I started to put it back together. So after a long time here, it's taking all this thing apart, you probably saw in the time lapse there, not too bad, we're getting there. Got the batteries out, they came out not too bad, not too hard, and uh, really taking this thing apart once you knew where the screws were was not really a big deal, not too bad. So cleaning up some of the parts a little bit and then I'm gonna go throw it back together and hopefully, fingers crossed, praying that this works once we uh, put in the new battery and get everything back together, but we'll see what happens here. All right, let's get back to it. All right, there we go. Guys, all back together here. It actually wasn't too bad taking it apart. Instructions were really good. Was able to follow along, no problems. And uh, now it's the moment of truth. Fingers crossed, is this guy gonna start up? I don't know, let's see what we got here. All right, I didn't plug it in. So um, if there's any juice in the battery, that's what's gonna start up here. So let's see what we got. Well, we got power. Let's see if it's gonna boot up. Oh, 
Oh! Woo! It works! Yeah, buddy! Woo! Yeah, now I'm gonna go try to log in, make sure everything's there. Yo, this is sweet, because Apple said it wasn't working, it was dead. It's working, it's working. New battery, good to go. Woo! Oh man, super excited that this thing fired right up. Brought it to Apple, like I said, they checked everything, said, uh, bad logic board, not gonna work. Nope, it's not the battery, that's not what's causing this problem. Bad logic board, definitely. So, I mean, I put that battery in, this thing fired right up. I'm super excited, and everything that was open when it crashed, opened right back up. All my Windows, Explorer, email, all that stuff seemed to be okay. So, now I'm just gonna run through and calibrate this battery, like it says on the uh, Other World Computing website. It says, try it out, make sure it works. Turn the computer off, plug it in, charge it up all the way. And then you wanna let the computer run and just drain that battery down to zero until the computer turns all the way off. Once it does that, let it sit for five, six hours overnight or whatever, then charge that battery all the way back up and your battery should be calibrated and good to go. I've got some decisions to make now. I got this Mac mini coming. I mean, it's definitely way better than this for sure, but do I keep that or do I try and limp this thing along to get to, you know, whatever's coming out next from Apple with the new, uh, you know, 16 inch MacBook Pros is what I was waiting for. I mean, I definitely think the Mac Mini is a great buy. I mean, I loaded it up, you know, put the 16 gigs. I had to do the, the bigger hard drive and stuff like that. So I don't know, I got some decisions, but we're gonna try and uh, just see how this one does because that new Mac Mini is not coming until next week. They just shipped it. So I don't know, gonna have to do a little thinking and do I wanna spend, you know, I think it was like 1800 bucks after tax on the loaded Mac Mini and keep that. And that's probably honestly would be enough to last me for a couple years probably. Um, or do I want to wait until they come up with something a little bit more powerful, you know, just be able to do better fusion stuff and more powerful things, you know, with the photo editing and all that and DaVinci Resolve. So I don't know, but I'm going to get to using this and do what I got to do with this. And then uh, we're going to be back. I'll wrap up the video, let you know how everything's working out. But man, I am super excited that this worked. And uh, I, I just find it hard to believe that Apple didn't say, hey, let's replace the battery because I even mentioned it to him. I said, you know, I heard, I read online that some people have problems, the battery dies, it goes bad, and then nothing works. It's just stuck in a boot loop. And then they replace the battery, boom, fires right up. And then, nope, nope, logic board. So I don't know. I don't know what's up with that, but uh, super thankful that this guy worked. So I'm gonna let it charge up and get to using it and uh, be back to wrap this up, let you know how I'm making out. All right, so back down to my studio, getting this set back up. I ran through the uh, break-in or the calibration, I guess, of the, uh, the battery here on the new MacBook Pro. Not new MacBook Pro, new battery for the MacBook Pro. And I got this guy set up and trying to get her all back going here. And everything's set up, so it looks like, so far, everything's working. And I'm pretty happy about that. So most importantly, I want to get everything going again, make sure my backups are there, make sure that works back everything up again because it's been uh, a little over half a month, almost a month since uh, this computer's been down. So make sure it's all working and so far so good. We're gonna keep trying it out, make sure everything's good and uh, kind of go from there. And uh, really looking forward to that Mac mini coming. Been debating, I don't know, I'm, I might just have to keep it because I know it's gonna be a lot better than this machine and then maybe I'll make my machine whatever, kid's machine or use it for you know other things around the house uh, that I might need. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, back to testing this guy. I'm making sure everything's still good to go, but so far, no problems. Everything is good. So it's been about a week since I finished the repair. My MacBook Pro is working awesome. Right here's the culprit, the old Apple battery. Now, I don't expect it to last forever, but I'm surprised that Apple didn't say, hey, try replacing this when you're stuck in a boot loop instead of, hey, your logic board shot. What's up with that, Apple? Come on, man. So I just replaced the battery myself and that kit from Otherworld Computing was really good. The instructions were great. I was a little worried about taking it all apart, but I figured, hey, it was a paperweight already anyway. So what do I got to lose if I screw something up? But the instructions were really good. Takes you step by step through everything you need to do to replace the battery. So if you're having the same problem like me, it's stuck in a boot loop, your Mac just keeps starting over and over again and everything else seems to check out okay, definitely head over, pick up that uh, battery kit from Otherworld Computing and give it a try. I mean, for 85 bucks, it's worth it over buying a new computer, right? So I've had zero problems with this battery so far since I put it in. I've edited this video on it as well as a few other videos. No problems, I can edit photos on it. I can even use the battery, which I haven't been able to do in forever, right? Actually, I think it actually runs better. It runs cooler because that other battery was shot and I think it was just making more heat. So it runs cooler, it runs faster, a little bit faster, 
and it just seems like uh, everything is working out really well with this battery from Otherworld Computing. So everything is back up and running, it is good to go, and I'm really excited that I was able to fix this MacBook Pro because it's a great machine. It was fully loaded in 2015, so everything still works great on it. But that said, I think I am gonna keep that Mac Mini. It still hasn't arrived yet, but I'll probably just keep that because it's gonna be a nice upgrade over this machine, and who knows with this school year coming up if I might need another computer for virtual learning. Let's hope not, but you never know. So I'll be using the MacBook Pro as well as that new Mac Mini when it comes, and hopefully we'll be able to continue to create awesome videos for you guys. So if you have any questions on this whole process, maybe you're going through something similar, leave a comment down below. I'll help you out if I can. And with that said, thank you guys for checking out this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.